Nice shot. Good spinification. <laughs>
Yeah. I would think if you're not doing the funny, funny in impressions, I would think you have a little bit of that John Stewart in you. Well, you know what? Maybe. I mean, I, I try to stay away from politics on uh, on stage and stuff like that. Cause right. I, it's just I not as fun. I don't want to offend half the people. I mean, right. that's what you're basically looking at most of the time. Right. So I don't fit in anywhere either because I'm not like a party person. I don't even get that stuff. I, right. mean, I look at it and I go, and maybe this stuff's outdated that everybody's joining forces against each other. Right. Maybe you should just try and do good right. uh, sometimes. So maybe maybe Congress needs to play some ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> doubles. They need to play doubles, doubles. so they yeah. actually learn how to work yeah. together. Yeah, you Put it. a Republican and Democrat on the right. same side and say, you got to get to 11 first. Wow, that would you be uh, terrible. Of course, Charles Barkley said, terrible. That was the Willow Willow Bear. That's my favorite impression. Now, <clears throat> how did the impressions actually start? Because oh, if you went did. to school, and then you went to sports journalism school, and then you went into comedy, like, was that, you would see something, and you would say, I, I, can, I can talk like that. Yeah, I had a little bit of a knack. I mean, it takes a lot of work to do. You just right. say stuff over and over and over. What I do is I'll say the same words and uh, say the alphabet, and that's how I, I get it. Um, but I, I don't know, I, uh, as a kid, I'd already forgot the question. I, uh, as a kid, I would just mimic people uh, a little bit, and I just figured it, I mean, I'm kind of a business person, so I just figured out how can I do this for real and make a living right, doing this. Right. I mean, a case that's of kind of like what I'm doing here. You know, how can I make a living out of this? That's like wait till you see my new videos, dynamic impressions. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Sure, appreciate it. Yep. They're not stopping here. They're, they're stopping here. That way your shot is more quality and you're not changing it from cross court to down the line. <coughs> nice. Very good. Good. Right. Good. Now, and it doesn't have to be this before you go there. You can just go there sometimes randomly also. Because, you're, again, you're dealing with two people. Slow hands and slow feet. You, halfway through the first game, you have to say, look, here's my stuff. <laughs> you know, this, this is what I do. All right? I take my six things that I do really good and I throw them at the person. And if they get two back, I'm looking on the floor. I'm going, well, that's how you're going to lose the match. So you have to say, let me survey this to find out if it has to be a pattern or if I can just go there free. Because then you'll know, okay, I don't have to even set you up on this. Because that's what you started doing on this side. Sometimes you just started going there first. Right. You have to know this on this side also. Because then you know how to pull back your shots. Good. Nice. Very good. Get back. Good. Nice. Forehand loop is really about stroke mechanics. 
the mechanics of any stroke pretty much fit into a box with regards to how they need to be executed. And the better the mechanics, the better potential the forehand looks.